moved back to Denver, I left a community in Santa Barbara and I had the good fortune of being a, a worship leader for our home church. And we got to Denver, had this idea that would be a, a sweet gift to them to be able to get them some of the songs that we had been singing over the course of our eight or nine years in Santa Barbara together. And he was kind enough to catch the vision and then we had the idea, let's use this as a benefit for Love, Light and Melody. Love, Light and Melody is a nonprofit dedicated to serving kids in extreme poverty. So getting as many musicians together, athletes, filmers, photographers, storytellers to go and be a part of a community to love and serve it well and the people there and then share the story. So with the first CD, the idea was a little bit gra more grassroots where we ended up recording it in the basement of a home. So the opportunity to the second one, a studio like this, is a really sweet opportunity. So to get to make music together and for us to do what we love to do, it's so life-giving to get in and laugh and have fun and uh, explore creativity, to make an album that we hope is going to bless and uh, fire up everybody that listens to it. But the benefit is that as people buy that CD, like they would buy any CD, 100% of the proceeds are going to working with the kids. There's collaboration on a lot of levels for a project like this. Mm -hmm. so between the three of us and, and then the engineers here in the studio locally, um, you know, there's a lot of creativity that, that's exchanged there. And that's kind of on a micro level, but on a macro level, you look at, at the other organizations that are involved for a project like this, and it just sets it apart. Mm -hmm. You know, from your home church, mm -hmm. back in Santa Barbara, to Love, Light, and Melody, to then the three of us getting to work together, there's just a lot of pieces. We chose the hymns because I think a lot of these songs, you look at the way they're structured, they have a, a, a verse that's just in the midst of life's deepest pains. There's a cry out that I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep hoping in this yeah. God who redeems, who rescues, who saves. Mm -hmm. I think those songs tie really beautifully into Love, Light, and Melody, what it's about, because so many of the people have been influenced through Love, Light, and Melody, at least my experience being down in Nicaragua, there are people who need hope. I mean, there are people who are in the midst of a really awful situation living in a trash dump. And so I think it's, you, you just listen to what these people were going through when they wrote these hymns. I mean, one of the authors was blind, another one had just lost his family. And it's story after story of people writing these songs in the midst of really difficult circumstances. Really the opportunity to, to be able to take something that, that has such a history to it um, to reimagine it, reinvent it in a way that makes it maybe more accessible uh, for, for a new generation of people, um, but still holds the same truths, uh, those same foundational beliefs, um, and, and the essence of the gospel is just depicted so clearly um, with some of these lyrics uh, that uh, it's worth the effort to, to reinvent that and add a different aesthetic to it so that people could, could dive into that and maybe hear it for what it is in a new way. So people who are surviving and choosing to not be embittered and are believing for hope all the time will continue to inspire us to hopefully make more CDs, to make more films, to snap more photos, to write more lyrics, to bring more journalists in. There is truth that needs to be exposed in stories of brokenness before healing and reconciliation can take place. So I just love it. I mean, if we could, ideally, if we could do enough music, we wouldn't have to fundraise outside of that. So I think this is a dream to, a seed to a dream that eventually Love, Light, and Melody could be completely funded by the art itself. And then we go and share that art with the kids. And his arms are taken, she'll be. You will find a solace there. I hope you love this record. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> try to top that with a little no. statement. Alright, let's track. Yeah.